everyone. Welcome Hi, boys to, and girls. Yes, welcome to Kids House at Home. Woo yeah. How are you guys? Are you looking forward to a new series? Yes. I am looking, looking forward to this new series. We are starting a new series today, Ashley and Kevo. I'm and it's so called, excited. Get ready for this. Okay. Life on Good Sense Street. Woohoo! Wow, that's so and good. It, yeah. In this new series, we are going to be talking about wisdom. We're going Ooh. to be learning wisdom, and we'll learn that from the book of Proverbs. That's By the cool. way, the book of Proverbs, its main theme, the main subject it talks about is wisdom. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, what is wisdom? Do, yeah, do you know what the word wisdom means, by the way? Kinda. A little yeah, bit. what do you think it means? Um, Maybe like being smart. Yes, like being smart. Anything you want to say, Kevin? Knowing things. Knowing things, but let me tell you boys and girls what it means. Wisdom means knowing the right thing to do and doing it. Oh. Another way you can describe or define wisdom is skill for living. Ooh. And to make it even easier for you, Good sense. Good sense for how you think, how you act, and how you talk. You know, that's what wisdom is all about. Wow, that makes good fun? sense. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it makes very good sense. Now, let me ask you this question. Are you ready? Yeah. This is a very important question. If someone told you you could have anything you wanted and they said, ask for anything in the world, you can have it, what would you ask for? Sandwich. Ask for sandwich. No, 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 no. Think a little deeper. Boys I and girls, what do you pizza. think for pizza? Chapo yeah. and beef. Beef? Yeah. Is that what you guys are saying there at home? Beef, motura, fish yeah. like that? Did you say cats and ponies yeah. and horses? Yeah, no, like no, horses. No, no, no. Okay, I hear uh, someone say you want a big house. I want oh. a million shillings. A million shillings, yeah. And to I be want popular. a bigger Transformers car. Mm -hmm. Transformers car. Yeah. Or to have a lot of, what, things in the world? Yeah, yeah to travel the whole world. Listen, and be I, famous. I want to tell you about somebody in the Bible that was asked that question by God. His name was Solomon. Solomon's Solomon. dad was King David and he had ruled Israel for a very, very long time. Mm. Then he died. And after he died, God chose Solomon to be the next king. Oh. Solomon was very humbled by this choice and, and that God chose him to be the king of Israel. And he really, really wanted to do a good job. So he prayed to God and he sincerely and honestly asked God to help him. And in a dream one night, God came to him and said, I'm going to help you. Anything you want, you ask for and I'll give it to you. Wow. And Ooh. boys and girls, do you know what King Solomon asked for? Do what? you know what he asked for, Ashley? Um, to have a big kingdom? No. To be famous? No, I think many of you know that story. King Solomon asked for wisdom. He didn't ask for money, for fame, or for the defeat of his enemies. He asked for wisdom. Wow. And wisdom is what we are going to be asking for in this series as we learn about good sense on Good Sense Street. Guys, God was very pleased that Solomon asked for wisdom and he gave him more wisdom, wisdom without measure. And on top of that, he gave him money, he gave him fame, and he gave him victory over all his enemies. Oh, hey, Miss McKenna. Yes? Um, Solomon was the wisest man who ever lived. Yes. Well, I mean, besides Jesus. Besides Jesus, he yeah. was the wisest man that ever lived. That's Ooh. true. God wow. gave him wisdom without measure, Kevo. Yeah, he mm -hmm. wrote the book of Proverbs, right? Yes, he did. He wrote the book of Proverbs, but he wasn't the only writer for the book of Proverbs. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Did I you also know either. that he was a great musician? <gasps> Yeah, what? he was a great musician. Just like his dad, King Just David. Just like his dad, King David. There are a lot of things about King Solomon that many people don't talk about. Well, I would like to read. He really was yeah. an incredible person. You want to read about it? I'd love to read Here's some more. Here's a good idea. Why yeah. don't you, Ashley and Kevo, go and read in the Bible, find out a little more about King Solomon, and then come back and tell us all about that. 
Yay. And as they do that, I think Miss Catherine can just come right along and teach us a new memory verse. Oh, yay! <laughs> All right, will you guys go now? Yeah, we'll go right now and okay. do some reading. Awesome. Hi, everyone. It's time for the memory verse. This one, boys and girls, is a long one. But that's a good challenge for all of us to see who will learn it well first during this series. Let's say it together. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Here are proverbs that will help you recognize wisdom and good advice and understand wise sayings with deep meaning. They can teach you how to live intelligently and how to be honest, just, and fair. Good job, everybody. Many words in that verse. You know, would you like to know how many words are there? Would you like to count them? Can you count them better and faster than I can? Why don't you do that? And as you do, there are two words I want you to notice, words that are in bold letters. Thirty-five words. And the two words in bold are Proverbs and Wisdom. Now, Miss McKenna already shared with us the meaning of wisdom. It is knowing the right thing to do and doing it. Another way to say that is living skillfully or using good sense in what you think, say and do. But what about the other word in bold, the word proverb? What does it mean? A proverb is a short saying which captures some good advice, practical help, or a deep meaning. As we have been learning, taking time to read, think, and pray over the proverbs will help us to see and hear wisdom from the Holy Spirit. Wow, Kevo, didn't you love doing all that reading? Yeah, I loved it. We learned so many cool things about Solomon. Yeah. Let's share with the boys and girls what we learned. Can I go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay. Okay. Fact one, mm -hmm. Solomon was an expert in the scientific study of plants, yeah. animals, birds, reptiles, and fish. Boy, he was smart. Yeah. Okay. Fact number two, Solomon was a great builder and his most famous building was the Temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. And guess what, boys and girls? The, the inside, inside of, of the, the temple, temple was, was covered, covered with, with pure gold. gold. Can you believe that? Ashley, what? guess what else? What else? His own palace was so beautiful that it took 13 years to build. What? Can you believe that? Yeah. 13 years for your own house. Man. Okay, that Kevo, was great. tell the boys and girls the next one. Fact three. <laughs> Solomon was known for governing wisely. He ruled his country so well that when the Queen of Sheba came to see, she was so impressed, she fainted. <laughs> she fainted. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, here we go. Fact uh -huh. number four. He was very smart in business. Oh. Yeah, his wisdom in business made Israel become such a wealthy and rich nation that, guess what, boys and what? girls? Silver and gold became as common as stones on the ground. Buddy! Buddy, that's amazing! Man, I wish that we were there. Yeah. Okay, fact five. <laughs> King Solomon was very talented as a musician and writer. Yeah. He wrote more than 1,000 songs and 3,000 proverbs. Wow, that's amazing. And that ends our session of Did, Did You Know? Hey, but now where is this guy? Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
Yes, hello boss. <laughs> He's not yet here. Yeah. Yes, I'll call him and I'll... Sure. Th thank you, thank you, sir. Hi. Hello. Where are you now? Where are you? The boss is very impatient and upset that you're late. Ah, Kumba, you're here. Le le let me stop wasting my credit then. Where? Harakisha. Hi. I'm so sorry. Guiji, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, Give me two seconds. Ah, 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 make... I mean, you should be here, Bana. Two seconds doing what? You should be here. Okay, I'm coming. Sorry, 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 I'm coming. Hi. Hey. 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 I'm here. Hey. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. You're smiling and you're no, late. No, I'm not. You don't look sorry. I'm so sorry, so hey, sorry. Hey, oh, what happened? Why are you so late? Hey, hey, let me tell you, Gwiji. Let me, let, uh, what has the boss said? No, no, the boss has said you call him first. Okay, he okay. Has let, an me, assignment wait, for wait, you. let me call him, let me call him. Hey, hey. Alaka Bana. Hello, boss. Very sorry. Yes, sir. I, I, will, I will go pick it immediately, sir. Thank you, sir. Asante, sir. Okay, okay. I agree, mm -hmm. So what happened? Please, please. I, let me tell you, I, I, I slept late. Doing and what? as a result, I woke up late. Uh -huh. And then I went into the traffic. We were there. This I we stood there for 43 minutes and 27 seconds. Right? I'm so, so sorry. So why did you sleep late? It's this neighbor. Huh? It's a neighbor of mine, one. He keeps coming. Comes every time. Uh -huh. He doesn't leave early. What do you mean he doesn't leave early? What about when you like go wear your pajamas and... Wait, I've tried. Uh -huh, and then... you, this guy just doesn't get it. Huh? I wore the pajamas and then he told me that I look nice. <laughs> who, who, which man tells another man his pajamas? <laughs> I think you And hit. then he took the remote just continued channel. In your house? In my own house. Uh, ah. I think your hints are not strong enough. Ah, let me tell you, this guy doesn't get it. What about telling him, let me escort you to your door? I have tried. Huh? The last time I told him that, huh? he told me that, he, that, he, that, he, that he, I think that he, he's scared of the dark. Hey. I said he was fine, that he will go later after his dark. Uh, this one sounds like he doesn't have good sense. Right. And what about your family, your wife? Let me tell you, yeah. the other day, my wife came out to help me. Yeah. She was like, sweetie, sweetie, what time are you coming to bed? Do you know? That guy didn't even catch it. Uh, ah. He continued staying there. He even told me at to go get me some hot water to drink. I, how? Ah, me, Gwiji, let me tell you. I don't know what to do. So what time did you leave the house? Late at midnight. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what, what made him leave? At he remembered he left his window open. Hi. And mosquitoes were coming in. So he dashed out. I am so grateful for those mosquitoes. <laughs> that neighbor of yours. Ah. Wait, and what about you uh, You spending so much time in traffic? What about that? Let me tell you, mm -hmm. that's the one. That's the one that has got into my head. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, these guys were overlapping. Overlapping. Then they went like this. Then they went like this. We are our five legs. Let me tell you, traffic. Hey. I was so upset. So you're... 43 minutes. Uh-huh. And... 27 seconds trying to figure out something that is so simple. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, it seems even your driver didn't have good sense. No. I, I, we will teach us good sense. But you know, for us believers, yeah. we have good sense, mm. which is called wisdom. Eh. And we can find it in the Bible. Yeah. We are much better. Ah, <laughs> we are privileged so. on that. Yes, we, we Wait, need uh, to learn it. We need to learn you, it. Yeah? You, 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 let, let me go. Let me go yeah, and do that. Actually, yeah, you need to call your boss. Eh? Yeah. And then, then we'll talk more. Yes. But yes, sorry, forgive me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay. Hey, Bana. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm sure he'll, he'll be pleased to see you, but yes, hey, be very careful next time. Ah, let me go. Let me yeah, go. Next time, Kuba. Yes. Okay. Wow. I. I always love watching Halaka and Gwiji, they are so much fun. But that was a very good question they asked at the end there. Who will teach us good sense? How can we learn good sense? That good sense is called wisdom. And we can learn it from the Bible. And we are going to be looking in the book of Proverbs to learn this good sense. Wisdom is skill for life, as we said before. Who will teach us how to tell someone that has overstayed at our house how to go home? 
Who would teach us how to make good friends? Who would teach us how to talk to people without offending them? Who's going to teach us how to be correctable or how to talk with others when we disagree? That good sense comes from learning wisdom and that's what we are going to be discovering together in this series that we are calling what? Life on Good Sense Street. You know, God was very pleased with Solomon for asking for wisdom, not for riches, not for fame, and not for the death or the defeat of his enemies. And God gave it to him without measure. The Bible says that wisdom is more profitable and more pre precious than rubies and gold and silver. That is in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13. Do you desire wisdom? Boys and girls, do you desire wisdom? I hope that you do. So don't miss any of these lessons for the next few weeks as we are learning together wisdom, good sense in this new series, Life on Good Sense Street. Looking forward to it. Living for you, Jesus 